Hey friends, it's Susanna. Today I am back and very excited to show you what I am using to document my December. I'm going to show you the supplies that I'm using along with the album that I'm using and I know I am a little late to getting this filmed and uploaded but I figured better late than never and maybe you'll get some ideas out of this for the rest of Jan er, January. Oh, I'm ahead of myself. For the rest of December. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. We're going to start with my desk is very dusty, and please don't mind the paint all over my hands. Um, we are going to start with the bulk of the items, which I store in this IKEA organizing thing. It's really washed out from the lights right now. Let's see if I can fix that a little bit. That's a little better. So this is where I keep the majority of my items. And, sorry, I was adjusting the lights again. Um, usually for an ongoing project, I would keep my supplies in a 12 by 12 iris case. But since this is something that's only a month long and I'm constantly grabbing for supplies, I figured I would put it in one of these and then I could just leave it on my desk. And at the end of the month, I will distribute the leftovers into my stash. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in as a little note before we get started, I will have a full list of supplies for all of those that I can find links to, of course, because some of these products are on the older side, um, on my blog, which will be linked below in the description box, and I will also have a link to this organizer specifically. Okay, so I'm going to move this, and we're going to start from largest and work our way down to smallest, then I'll show you the extras that aren't in here, and then finally I will show you the album that I'm using. So, usually, I go out, by go out, I mean I go online and I shop for Christmas items to use each year. Um, and I build a kit based on items that match from the same shop and uh, that match the album and all of that. And I'm going to be completely honest, I think that's the reason that I have never finished a December Daily or a Document December album. I have all of them lined up on my bookshelf. They will be finished one day, but it was like crippling trying to do a layout and worry that it matched the layout before and that the whole album was going to look cohesive and oh my gosh, just thinking about it gives me anxiety. So this year I decided I am going to pull the items from my stash that I want to use. I will use a few things from the Merry Days collection because I'm in love with it and I will use the uh, December design team kit items that I that I receive. Other than that, I haven't purchased anything special. You'll tell you'll be able to tell when we're going through all of these things that they're not all a perfect match. But I've decided that that's okay because I would rather do a layout and be absolutely in love with it and not have it match the the layouts before or after. Have it be completely cohesive with the entire album than to just not do the project at all. And I think that my style is a tad bit eclectic anyway, and it's kind of like a hodgepodge of fun colors and stuff, so I'm not too worried about it. And honestly, this is the first year that I've been this excited for this project, and I think it's for that reason. I've kind of let go all expectations and just decided that I will have fun with it, and that's what I'm going to do. So, like I said, you'll see that these items don't match 100%, but I am okay with that because different scenarios and different moods throughout the month will pull me to different products. So let's get started. First, I printed out the journaling cards from the Creatives Club December kit. I say kit, it's actually a collection, it's not a kit of any kind. Um, I'm so used to saying the word kit. Uh, so this is from the December collection of journaling cards from the Creatives Club. I printed those out and I don't pre-cut my journaling cards. Um, I cut them as I need them. That way I can continue to stash, store. Blah. I can continue to store these papers standing up in that organizer that you just saw. This is the first video I've filmed in so long, and as most of you know, when you get back into filming, it's super easy to get tongue-tied and just basically have no idea what you're doing. So that's me today. All right, let's move on to the 9x12 papers. The 9x12 papers that I'm using are all from 
a beautiful mess kits before they discontinued their kit. So let me move these out of the way so you can see. So there's a plaid. This one's like a turquoise polka dot. It looks like the polka dots were stamped and some of them are like ghost stamped, if that makes sense. Let's get you focused. I, like, where am I? There we are. Those, again, apologies for my gross hands. And that, they like fade out as they were stamped. Then this is from their 9 by 12 paper pack. I think it was called Ledger. And I am just in love with this whole um, collection of papers. And so I thought I would throw one of those in there. Then we have just a solid black with the names of the reindeer. And this, which is just, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Little cars with Christmas trees on top, but I love that they're like in the desert, so they have cactus and stuff around them. Um, I grew up in the desert, so it gives me a little piece of home. Um, oh, and the best part, little tumbleweeds, which I'm obsessed with. Um, I We just moved, and so our entire apartment is a complete disaster right now as we unpack. But not only that, I am purging my entire stash. I'm getting rid of all the things that I know I won't use or that I'm not... Like, oh my gosh, yes, I want to keep that at first glance. So that's what I've been doing. I've been going through, like with the papers, I would put one down and it was immediate, like yes or no. Do I like it? Do I not like it? Will I use it? Will I not use it? In the past, I think we've all been um, guilty of this. I hoard my supplies that I am in love with. But what I've noticed is by going through this stash in our move is that the items I was once so in love with that I felt like I couldn't use on a project because the project wasn't like deserving of that item that I was obsessed with, um, some of them I just no longer even like, which is terrible. So I have a whole new mindset. I'm going to use my products when I first get them. Not when I first get them. I'm going to use my products when I love them. That way, it doesn't two years don't pass by and then I'm like oh why do I still have this I will never use that so I'd rather enjoy them now than get rid of them later because I'm no longer in love with them so this paper is definitely one of those okay let's move into 12 by 12s most of the stuff in my kit I know where it came from there are a few things that are old enough that I'm not sure so I have like five sheets of this um, paper. What is the name of it? It's just December. Uh, it's from the Crate Paper Follow Law Collection last year. And I ended up with a whole pack of this. I can't remember why I bought an entire pack, but these were what was left. And so I figured I would throw them in there. They're a good filler if I need like a random miscellaneous page. And this is kind of the color palette that I'm working with more or less this year, so I figured they were a nice general um, sheet. Then I have Spots and Stripes from the Felicity Jane Mila collection. Let's see, where can I put those? There we go. Um, this is B&B &B from last year's Studio Calico kit in December. This was also, I believe, from the December Studio Calico Kit, Skipping Stone. It may have been from a different month, maybe November. I'm not positive. This is Studio Calico Aurora. This side I most likely won't use in my project, but I did pull it for this red and blue plaid. Um, here are a few more 9 by 12s that got mixed in from A Beautiful Mess. Here's another one of those papers that I was hoarding because I'm obsessed with it. This is my favorite color palette. Oh, love it. And then this one's like little snowflakes. They're doodled. Back to Studio Calico for this one. This was also from their December kit last year. Uh, Felicity Jane. What is this paper called? I cut off what the paper is called, but it is from the Summer Collection. Another from Felicity Jane. It's a nice wood grain. And on the other side... Um, all trees. This is from the Joy Collection. 
another from Studio Calico. It's called Fault in Our Stars. And I believe this one may have also been from December, but I love that. Um, then we have a few sheets from the One Canoe Two Creekside collection. It's a nice plaid. Pull these ones out. These are both from that collection as well. This one's like little fern leaves with blue flowers. And I apologize if you can hear the rain. It is pouring outside. We don't, we, it rains a tiny bit in California, but it's more like a drizzle and we never get like a pouring rain. And it has been pouring for the last two days and I am so in love with it. <laughs> I just want to curl up with like something hot with the fire. Uh, we don't have a fireplace, but with the fireplace, ideally, and the the twinkly lights from the Christmas tree. <clears throat> okay, moving on. This one is like tree stumps, little trees. These are just pine trees because it was an outdoorsy collection, but because they're pine trees, they look like little Christmas trees. And then this was another one from that collection, which I've already used some of. You can see it has that pretty matte gold foiling. I'm not a huge gold foiling fan, but I do like it when it is matte like this. It's nice and subtle. Here is another sheet from Studio Calico. This is a white piece of cardstock with a gold foil wood grain. You can't really see that. I'm not sure the light is picking it up well. But again, it's like a matte wood grain, a matte gold foiling for the wood grain. There we go. So it's a little more subtle. And then this sheet from Studio Calico, Nebula. This may have been from their December collection. Not sure. Their December kit. And then I have this snowflake piece of acetate from Studio Calico. Oops, sorry about that. Alrighty, let's get these back and move on. I had another piece of acetate somewhere with Christmas trees on it. It was from A Beautiful Mess. I'm sure we'll come across it. Here are a few more paper pattern papers that I'm using. Um, I've already used most of these sheets, but I, I still have a little bit. So this one's Sunspot from Studio Calico. I love that side. There's another piece of that. And then Skyward Slopes. You can see I have a few pieces left. This was from their December kit last year, and here's the back side. It's a ledger. Oh, and here's that piece of acetate with little trees on it. Which means. Nope, this was Studio Calico. I mean, I know that. Studio Calico and A Beautiful Mess. Their kits were um, overseen by Inked, so they do have some similar similarities. Um, like these two little Christmas trees are very similar, which I love because then I can mix and match my kits, and they they go together. Left in this big section of the organizer, I have my 12 by 12 chipboard pieces from Merry Days. I also have the 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheet from Merry Days. And then a few, oh, I have the Joyous American Crafts stickers from the Merry Days collection. These are gold and puffy. And then I have a few alphas and thickers in here. So I have the Felicity Jane Cape alphas. They're a foam alpha with gold glitter. I have the American Crafts Joy Alpha, which is like a fun wood, two-toned wood, um, a little bit of a whimsical feel to it, Alpha. And I have the Dear Lizzie Desktop Alphas. These are really thin, they're puffy, and they're a matte gold, and these are one of my favorites. Alrighty. Moving on to the smaller supplies. have the Crepe Paper Merry Days 6x8 paper pad, a white paper top loading um, bags, envelope type thing. Let's see. We have 
to get all this stuff out. These are, what brand were these? I believe they're basic gray. They are little things that you can pull off, stick on an item. You fold them in half and you stick them onto an item and then you, this little hole right here comes out. You do like one, two, three, or three and three, depending on how your album is laid out, the rings of your album, so that you can stick items into your album that don't have holes already punched in them. So that's fun for adding like miscellaneous um, bits and pieces that I pick up throughout the month or just like a layout that doesn't necessarily have holes or I don't want to put it in a page protector. Then we have the Merry Days Puffy Stickers and the Cardstock Sticker Pack from Merry Days. This collection might be one of my favorite crepe paper collections of all time. I'm in love with it. These three little sheets are from Felicity Jane Joy Collection. I have the Ellie Studio Christmas Shapes and Dots Puffy Stickers. These washi strip pattern stickers from Studio Calico designed by Jasmine Jones. They're like a nice craft color. The Felicity Jane Mila labels. These are stickers. I have two sheets of the Jane alphabet stickers from Ellie's Studio in red. <clears throat> I have the Illustrated Faith Mini Olive Olive U uh, Alpha Sheet. The Ellie Studio Hazel Tile Alphabet Stickers. They're picking up really gray, or really purple in the camera, but they are a gray. So that's not really a true to color. That might be a little bit more. They're definitely a gray in person. I think with these lights that I'm using, they almost look a little purple. I don't know, but I really like them either way. And on my projects, they look gray. So I'm assuming they just have like a tiny bit of a purple undertone that comes out in certain lighting. Either way, they're super fun. The Merry and Bright 6x6 paper pack from Ellie Studio. And then two stencils. I have the 6x6, uh, what is it called? Celebrate Winter stencil from Echo Park. It's a super fun little snow flurry print. This is perfect to use on any kind of layout or even in mixed media, and I am so in love with it. And then we have the Fa La La stencil from Neat and Tangled. Let me hold that up so you can see it. That one's another one that I'm super in love with. Moving into stamps. Oh, wait. I have the leftover goodies from the monthly November kit from Ellie's studio because like how perfect is that card and I just am not ready to stop using it yet Now moving into stamps. I have the merry moment stamp set from Ellie's studio The holiday delivery stamp set from everyday explorers co The Christmas post stamp set from everyday explorers co. This is probably my favorite stamp set of the season I am so in love with that and the Christmas Countdown stamp set from Everyday Explorers Co. Lastly, I have the Felicity Jane Holly stamp set. Okay, let's move on to the next section. So these are where my stickers and tinier things are. So I have a beautiful mess, word strip stickers. They're not holiday specific, but I think some of the phrases work really well for the stories that I'll be telling. I have the Ellie Studio This Season Phrase stickers. The Ellie Studio November Label stickers. A green label, I mean a green word strip sticker from Allie Edwards. These are again very generic, perfect for documenting your stories. The Felicity Jane Essentials Mini Puffy Alphabet in black. Uh, the chipboard pieces from 
Studio Calico's December kit last year. I got these this kit in a sale earlier this year, so I didn't get to use it last December, which is why it's still brand new because I've been holding on to it um, so that I could use it this year. These are gray and they're gray on white vellum stickers, so they're really thin, probably kind of hard to see on camera. Let's get it to focus way up here. Hello. There we go. Then if it'll focus, I think the lighting from the weather is making it a little bit difficult. There we go. Then I have some other alphas and numbers. This is a white number set from Ali Edwards. I have a yellow tile alphabet from Studio Calico. And these are little black tile uh, numbers and letters from the American Crafts Faith line. You can get those at Hobby Lobby, and they're my absolute favorite alpha right now. Then I have the Ali Edwards Story Tabs, Ellie Studio November Labels, and then we move into some miscellaneous journaling cards that I just pulled out because I felt like they went with the theme of Christmas and holiday and all of that. So this came in a random Project Life kit from forever ago. It was like, sorry for the honking, we live in a city. It was like boy themed or man themed, so that one's fun. Merry and Bright, I believe that this is from Feed Your Craft, possibly. Just based on the material, I think that's Feed Your Craft, but I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. This one has little sugar cookies and just a diagonal pattern on the back. This is from A Beautiful Mess. The Magic of December from Kelly Perky. A few more from A Beautiful Mess. This one has little records that say Happy Holidays. And on the back, there's a super cute little car with a present on the back. Smiling's my favorite from Elf. Great on the back. And then these three are from Seven Paper from forever ago. And... You can just put different things in the little spaces. Some of them have little prompts like documented by or the date, and then some of them are empty. Since seven paper is no longer around, these are really hard to find, but if you're in love with them like I was, keep an eye out. You can sometimes find them at Tuesday morning. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so I have the Ho 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 acrylic piece from LA Studio, some acrylic hearts from LA Studio, and these little wood veneer snow globe pieces from Ellie Studio. We go to the snow every year, and so I was really excited to use these when we do that. We usually go in January, so these won't necessarily be um, documenting snow in my December album, but I think they're really festive anyway, and I'm sure they'll be showing up in there at some point just because they're so cute. Then we have the Felicity Jane Holly Felt Stars, and this is a card that I made when I was doing a little bit of prep for December, for my documenting December. Um, this was for an Ellie Studio design team project, which you probably saw on Instagram if you follow me. Um, what was I going to say about that? Oh yeah, so I created it ahead of time and I haven't found a place for it yet. A day hasn't come along where I've needed this, but I know that it will because we're still got a ways to go. Alrighty, moving on. We have some felt uh, velvet bows from Felicity Jane. I'm drawing a blank and I don't remember the exact collection these were from. Some epoxy dots from Studio Calico. The ad, the Document December journaling tag add-on pack from Ellie Studio. I love the phrases on these. else do we have? I have a little polka dot paper bag with some white tags and then I have a bunch more miscellaneous journaling cards um, that are smaller so I have a few from let's see these are all from a beautiful mess So, super fun. Oh, I guess it would help if I was actually 
um, in the screen, in frame, that's the word, that's the phrase I was looking for, in frame. We have a few journaling cards from Feed Your Craft, one card from Kelly Perky. This was again from that like gentleman uh, Project Life kit. And then these are, um, I have a whole set. They're like number, debossed, embossed, which embossed is down, debossed is up. So they're embossed um, with a number and they have like a little eyelet at the top. Let's see. There we go. Um, these were from, I get a lot of questions about these when I use them. These are from Seven Paper also, I believe. Occasionally you can find them at Tuesday morning, but it's not often. I always pick up a pack when I see them because I do use them in projects. So keep your eye out if you go to Tuesday morning. Okay, getting into the smaller stuff now. I have some chipboard number pieces from Felicity Jane. I believe these were from the Joy Collection. I have some gray and blue star confetti from Studio Calico that I've had forever. And two packs of sequins from the sequinologist. She creates her mixes, well, some of her mixes to match certain collections that are out at the time. So these, these were to match the Merry Days and the Follow Law collections from Crate Paper. Then I have a bunch of little miscellaneous things, we'll call them. Little embellishments from Felicity Jane. So we have a gold star sequin a black star sequin, silver star sequin. Um, this is like a gold, a matte gold sequin. These are super cute. Um, and then these are red and pink sequins, octagon shaped. Then I have three sets of the wood veneer stars. These ones are darker, these two are lighter. And then some rose gold, chunky, small chunky paper clips. See those. Let me get get you up close there. Hello. There we go. So those are the tinier things. I have a box of die cuts here. These are the Merry Days tags, the Merry Days ephemera. I mean die cuts. Sorry, and then some random things from my stash. These little. Pink flags are from Studio Calico. These little things are from A Beautiful Mess. Ooh. Some tags from my stash. I have like miscellaneous old die cuts from Gossamer Blue, some from Felicity Jane. So I just have like a hodgepodge of things in here that are holiday and Christmas themed. There we go, and this is just a four by six iris photo case. I will also link these below because they're great for storage. I'm also keeping the Maggie Holmes Willow Lane rub-ons handy because the phrases are just, they're white, so they match the theme really well because they match anything. And then the, the things are just, today was great, highlights, just me and you, my heart is full. So I feel like these just go really well with the stories that I'll be telling. In here, I am keeping a few things, mostly washi. This is like a star ribbon thing. The back of it's adhesive, so I generally cut the stars off and don't. I don't use it as a ribbon. I use them as like little star embellishments. Those are from that's from Studio Calico, and then this is a set of oof, little acetate squares with red letters and numbers. And these are from Studio Calico from a long time ago. I haven't had a chance to use them, but I really love them. So I'm excited to try to use them on this project. And then I have all of the washi. So these are from the Merry Days washi set. I have this little red and green plaid 
washi. This was from my stash, and it's a little brighter than my normal color palettes, but I figured it tied in nicely with some of the other pieces I'm using. These two are from the Magnolia Hearth and Hand collection at Target. This one is my favorite of the season right now. It is a pink ruler with red numbers. It's from the Reset Girl a kit a while ago. And then these three are from uh, Paper Source. And this one I lied. Okay, this one is actually my favorite of the season because it is so stinking cute. Let's get you focused. Okay, can, ooh, can you see that? Oh my gosh, how cute is that? We are getting there, folks. I pulled out a lot because I'm indecisive and I didn't feel like digging when I was like, because I, I tend to create after work, so it's late at night. Not late, but like later in the evening because it's after dinner and all of that. So I don't feel like digging. I just kind of want to jump in and get creative. So by spacing the things, or by pulling the things and putting them in little spaces like this, I'm easily, I'm able to easily just get crafty when, when the mood hits. So. I have a few miscellaneous labels and then in this little thing I have just a ton of miscellaneous bits and bobs so as you know I like to use fabric I like to use ribbon and twine and all of that on my projects so this is kind of where I'm keeping that along with a few other goodies I have a pink and a white crepe paper trim from Felicity Jane a ribbon uh, ruler ribbon from my stash some pink and red twine from my stash, some little bobbly ribbon thing. It's pink and that's from Felicity Jane. A gray and white twine from my stash. This is like a chartreuse and white striped ribbon, also from my stash. <laughs> and then, um, shoot, what is this called? Um, it's called jute, I think, uh, from my stash again. These two are from the Merry Days Tag Pack. I have this like larger bobbly ribbon thing from my stash. I don't think that's its technical name, but we're going to call it bobbly ribbon because it sounds nice. I have a piece of lace. And then for materials, as far as material pieces go, I have some tassel bows from Felicity Jane. There's another one in here at the bottom. I love these. Then I have the fabric buttons from the Merry Days collection. I'm going to scoot all of this. I have just a strip, I mean a set of enamel dots. And then this is a huge mess of goodies. There are some cork numbers from, I think these are from Crepe Paper. What was that collection called? Um, crepe paper, it was. Shoot, it slipped my mind, but these are getting really brittle, so I'm trying to use them up before they snap. I have some random flare pieces, some little snowflake acrylic pieces from Studio Calico. They're asterisks, but I'm using them as snowflakes. Some little stars from either Studio Calico or a beautiful mess, probably a beautiful mess. Some more little rubber shapes from Gossamer Blue. Where'd that one go? Um, little tassel from Crepe Paper. What was that collection? Good Girl, I think it was called. Some flare. This is Feed Your Craft, Studio Calico, Felicity Jane, Felicity Jane. A little Mary clip from A Beautiful Mess, another Felicity Jane flare, another Studio Calico flare, and then some little cork carts. I have a lot more in here from, I, I believe these were from Citrus Twist. So that's everything that's in this little thing. And I used to be so, I still am, I'm trying to get over being extremely like OCD about how my supplies are stored and like normally I would have to have these together these together and like separate but I'm finding recently that kind of putting all my tinier embellishments in something like this and then getting to dig through it when I'm looking for something is kind of fun it's like 
It's like digging for treasure almost. <laughs> so I'm really enjoying that. Normally it would stress me out, but I'm kind of excited about the fact that I'm a little more laid back this year about my whole approach to this project. And I think it's gonna make it a lot more fun and manageable for me. I'll just pile that in there for now. Alrighty, I know this video is getting really long, so I apologize. A couple other things that I have handy are the December Ellie Studio Kit that I received for the design team projects that I do. Um, I'm not done with my projects, so I am keeping these separate. Once I'm fully done, I will transition those into the organizer. And then I have the entire Ellie Studio Document December collection in here because again, I'm doing design team product projects all month using exclusively these supplies. So I needed to keep them separate so that I could do those projects. But I do, when I'm working on like a non design team project in my album, I do reach into these zip pouches and see what I have and pull out items to use. I just put them back in here so that I can keep them all contained. And now for the part that I've been dying to show you guys, my album. So I am using a form of documenting. Okay, I'm using an album that is not a regular sized album and I basically made the album. I started out with a blank canvas, this craft binder from Hobby Lobby, which these are my all time favorite binders for anything and everything. I talk about them so much um, and I, created a an album that's more of like a five and a quarter or maybe exactly five and eight by eight and like eight point like three lengthwise um album that i am going to kind of create a junk journal feeling so there'll be pocket pages there'll be loose sheets there'll be tags and the tons of things whatever i feel drawn to create will go in there i'm not limiting myself to one form and that works best for me so i am going to show you the outside and the inside cover but i'm not going to flip through the pages that i've done so far because i'm going to have a weekly update each week in december with my project my progress on the project so let's get started this is usually tied in a bow but i was lazy and didn't retie it I have a little ribbon here coming out the front and it also comes out the back just the same and then when you open it up I apologize for the glare on the pocket page you have um, this super fun wintry pattern I am going to put a little clear pocket right here I have an ongoing list of like Christmas movies I want to watch and then I check them off once I've watched them and so I want to keep that in here but I don't want a full sized pocket out of a patterned paper because I really love this paper and I wanna be able to see through to it. So I'm gonna put a little clear pocket right here and then it won't, you'll still be able to see all of this when the sheet is in there and when the sheet's out, you'll be able to see through it to this patterned paper. So the paper does go all the way around. You'll see it is back here as well. And I will be sharing a video early next year on how I created this album. So how I took the six by eight album and made it into what it is here with the ribbon and all of that. So if you're interested in that, keep an eye out because it will be coming early next year. Okay, then this is my cover page, which I will show you because I posted this cover page on Instagram. It was one of my Ellie Studio design team projects for December and I really love it. It just is it's fun and clustery and very festive. So that is all I'm going to show you of my album, but I will, like I said, have a flip through of all of this goodness later this week when it has been a full week of December documenting. Whew. I don't know about you, but that was a, that was a, a lot. So I will actually so you're not just awkwardly staring at my hands. I will leave this here. We can leave it open. That way you can look at the festiveness while I'm chatting away. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're interested in any of these products that I shared, I will put a full blog post supply list up with those that I can find. A lot of the items are discontinued or no longer available. You can't find them anywhere online. Um, so I will still put the name of them if I know 
that way you can go on a hunt for them if you'd like but the the things that i can find i will put links to so that you're able to easily grab them if you um are in love with them other than that if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more crafty videos to come okay guys thank you so much for watching i can't wait to talk to you again soon bye